In this video, I'm going to show you how to tie the offshore swivel knot. So this knot here is used whenever you want to attach your main line to either a swivel or a hook or pretty much whatever else you're doing. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to tie a loop. So we're pretty much attaching a loop here to the swivel or hook instead of just a single strand of line. So you're going to need to tie a loop. Pretty much anything will do. I generally use the Bimini twist. So I'll leave a link for that down below, but it's pretty simple. Just tie any any loop knot that you like. I use the Bimini, but this knot here is really good because you're gonna have these double strands of line here, and you're also gonna have all these loops, all these twists here. So pretty much if, if one of these lines in the loop breaks, or one of these loops here break, you could potentially still save the rest of your rig. So if you're just using a single strand of line like this, and you know it breaks and all this is gonna be gone. So having this is gonna add a bit of protection. It's something I use quite a bit. It's really simple and that's why you want to know how to tie it. All right, so before we do get started, I just want to mention a gear giveaway I'm planning on doing. So it's probably going to be at like 1,000 subscribers and then I'll probably continue doing it every like 5,000 after that. So here are some things I'm thinking about. So we have for here, it's a bait casting reel. You also have like a backpack, but you know, like fishing backpack. I just toss everything in there whenever I'm going out. It's really, really useful. And also like a GoPro or something. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now. If you do have any suggestions for anything else, just leave a comment down below and um, I'll figure something out. But if you do want to enter, I need you to do three things. Okay, so first, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment giveaway down below. Just do those three things and it'll be automatically entered. All right, so if you do want to enter, then good luck and we will jump back to the video. All right, so you're going to need to have your line with a loop in it. So whatever loop you want to tie, I generally use the Bimini twist. The link for that video is down below, like I said, but you're going to need your line with a loop and then you're going to need either your swivel or your hook or whatever you're attaching this, this line to. So basically all you're going to do is you're going to get the loop that's already in your line and we're going to get our, let's say call this a swivel here. We're going to stick the both ends of so the loop through and then we're simply going to double it back just like that. And then all you want to do is you want to hold the line just like that. All right, so you can spread these out a little bit and there's going to be this loop here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking our swivel and we're going to be turning it and putting it through and twisting it just like that, okay? So all we got to do is take our swivel and we're going to loop it down and we're going to bring it through this hole, okay? And then pull it. So there's going to be one. We're going to do that six times. Okay, so two, three, four. I'm only going to do it four times because I'm using thicker rope here. But if you're using general fishing line, you'll want to do that six times. All right, then you should have something that looks just like that. And then all we have to do now is, I, I like wetting this so you can either put this in water or spit on it. But all you got to do now is slowly start pulling it tight. So I have my swivel. I have my you know main line here and you just kind of got to start pulling it and working these wraps down just like that and then keep pulling this down pulling it tight pulling this down pulling it tight just like that kind of working it you probably won't have these twists here just because I'm, I'm using rope so it's it's kind of a little bit messier but this is kind of what your knot should look like, something like that right there. And then all you got to do is just make sure everything looks nice and tight. Make sure these wraps are all kind of nice and together. Pull it down as far as you can. And then once everything looks pretty good, you can grab your swivel, you can grab your line, and you can really cinch it down tight. But there is a simple knot that will give you some added protection from the, the double lines here, the extra twists here. So if one of these lines do break, you can potentially save your lure. So there is the simple offshore swivel knot. So if you do want to learn about any other useful knots um, and how to tie them, I will leave a link for that down below. It's going to kind of walk you through all of the all the more common knots and like what they're used for, how to tie them, all kind of stuff. So that link's down below. And if you do want another entry into our giveaway, you can like and comment on our latest video, which is going to be the left of this video. All right, so I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.